Welcome back to the greenhouse today, everybody. And if you're new here, welcome aboard. Today we're out here discussing greenhouse ventilation and the formula I use to find the bare minimum for your venting requirements on any greenhouse. If you're anything like us, you got a DIY greenhouse and you may want to ventilate it or you're in the process of building and designing one. And even if you put together a ready-made kit greenhouse, you still may find this information valuable. So I'm going to go through the venting formula to find the minimums and I'm going to share our experiences with it. So if that sounds interesting, please consider subscribing to the channel. Let's jump right into this. Now, when discussing this bare minimum for formula to find the bare minimum venting that is required for your square footage greenhouse. So you have to find your square foot, which would be multiplying length times width, finding the area. So we're going to find the area of several greenhouses and share the findings on how much venting requirements they're going to have. So first things first, it's going to be length times width to find area, as I said, times 0.02 in order to find the bare minimum requirement. So let's run the formula on a couple different size greenhouse. So if we're using our small cattle panel greenhouse, six by 12 roughly, we've got about 72 square feet in that greenhouse, which is going to lead us to having 1.4 square feet of ventilation, not very much. Let's take a quick look at our Harbor Freight greenhouse. 10 by 12 times 0 0.02 is going to give you about 2.5 square feet of ventilation required. Now pairing it up to our large 520 square foot, 52 by 10. So 520 times 0 0.02 is going to give us about 10 and a half square feet of ventilation requirements to vent this greenhouse properly. So looking at a 20 by 30, you're going to have to find the area of 600 feet times 0 0.02, giving us 12, 12 square feet minimum to vent that greenhouse. Now that I ran a few greenhouses through that formula, I would like to state that you should double it. If you're building a greenhouse, try and double it so you don't have to use forced induction. And that is the next topic is fans. Using a fan on a small window is going to give you significantly more airflow and moisture control ventilation and just overall in general hardening of the plants, allowing them to breathe a little bit more natural. Well, a very important thing is window placement. Now, I am kind of a different example. So I've got windows on each side and typically you would want to be able to roll up your greenhouse and we are just at the bare minimum for requirement about 10 and a half square feet between our two windows. All 52 feet need to be ventilated. So we are forced to use fans in the summertime and stuff and shade cloths, whatnot. All of the practical common sense things that most people do in greenhouses. But we built this greenhouse for winter like a winter bunker. So we're not able to roll up our sides. We have a double layer. Typically you can roll the sides up of most hoop house kits as long as you don't use wiggle wire and tuck it in tight. So that would be excellent for ventilation because then you could have good airflow. The cool air comes in, hot air rises out. So us, we have our doors and I've shown our rabbit protection. We've got all our sifters in front of our doors to protect from the rabbits just ravaging all our plants. And being able to have the doors open, we well exceed and we get decent airflow through here without even running fans. But we have fans up to harden the crops off on purpose and that is just a byproduct of having a fan running. If you can run it off solar power like we do, you've got zero build. The next topic I had wrote down was natural airflow, but I kind of ran right into that with the last one, as natural as you possibly can. So my window is up decently high. It's maybe eye level, a little bit less than eye level at the top of the window. So most of the heat will vent right out, even if the doors are closed. But with the summertime temperatures coming, we have to have the windows and doors open to be able to survive in here. Having those doors open, and being able to allow bugs and critters and nature to get in along with airflow. You can see my greenhouse is kind of moving weirdly in the wind because we've got those two layers. So the outside's moving a bit and then the inside catches a little bit more as the air moves through the greenhouse tunnel here. And all that natural airflow is great for all of these plants. They should be outside, but it's been kind of chilly overnight and we wanted to protect all of our investments that we're about to take to the market. Pretty much sums up the venting formula requirements and why we would do that. Now I will show our little wax filled cylinders. Now I get away with this super cheap. These are like 20 to $30. So this little cylinder, these are pretty common. Most people know about these, but the cylinder is filled with wax, a natural wax that expands and contracts. And as it expands, 
it pushes this rod allowing this elbow to extend and open it is not quite warm enough to make it pop yet i shut my fans off these two fans are so wicked loud i gotta invest in some larger fans here i'll just give a quick little rundown through the sea of tomatoes now we've got hundreds and hundreds of tomato plants making our way down i can feel the cool breeze moving past me not harshly just ever so slightly nice breeze so we've got our other window down here with another wax filled cylinder in the sunlight and that one is opening a bit so the sunlight makes all the difference in the world man i gotta clean up out there we gotta go start tearing the compost heater apart so, so looking forward to that video there will probably be several of them as i want to discuss a few things about what we observed this winter with our pile and the heating elements of it. So with that being said, drop your comment so everybody else can see it. They might find it of use if I forgot to mention it here. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.